This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar on working with audio in Apple Final Cut Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to work with auditions in Final Cut to compare audio clips. Another really useful technique is an audition. This allows us to preview multiple video or audio clips to decide which one works the best with our project. And I decided, <laughs> as part of this demo, to pick the hardest audio audition that you can create, which is listening to how the music ends. Let me show you how this works. You know, that may be a little aggressive. It might be nice to try some other music instead. So we can build auditions in either the browser or the timeline. The browser works with the start of the clip. The timeline gives me the option of working with the start or the end, which is why I'm going to work with it in the timeline. I've added a clip to the timeline, grab a second clip and drag it on top. And when you let go at the bottom of the menu, it's going to say add to audition and select that. We've now created a combined clip, which has both the old and the new clip in it. Let's add one more clip. Let's take this one and pull this down and drop it on top and say, add to audition. Now we can preview these. And in previewing, we'll go up to the clip menu, go to audition and say, preview. This opens up this small window and notice that I have the first clip selected. Click here, oh, the second clip, but look at how long that is much longer than I want. Well, let's trim that before we get too carried away. So we'll grab the edge of the clip and well, trim it shorter this way, trim it to the end. Remember, we select the trim tool and that allows us to slip the audio. We talked about that earlier until I reach the end of the clip. That red tag there indicates I've reached the end of the media. I'll pull it forward just a bit. Let's click on the last one. Oh, a little long. Grab this, drag it back. Like I said, if I was working with the beginning of the clip, auditions would be really easy. But I wanted to show you a way that I like a lot, which is when I'm trying to figure out how to get something to end. Wait, stop, get back down there. Hold the command key down. This is, oh, this is so cool. Look at this. If I'm dragging this and I hold the command key down, I, it's called gearing down. See how it takes a lot longer to change? I have to drag the mouse a lot more to change the level. If I don't hold the command key down, I'm up and down like instantly. I need more precision. So get in a habit of always holding the command key down as you drag to change the level. Let's go back to where we were. Pull this to the end. Pull it over just a bit. Now we need to be able to preview these and see what they sound like. So here's how this works. You open this preview window from the clip menu, audition preview, or the keyboard shortcut, control, command, Y, and click in the clip. All right, we've heard that. Don't like that. Try this one. Pretty sinister if you're about to watch a murder mystery on Mars, but may not be exactly what we want. Let's try the third one. Spacebar. Oh, now that is much better. We'll go with that. So we'll click Done. And now, in spite of the fact that I have three clips there, it's isolated on one, locked in on that one. And when I play it again, it plays the clip we selected. But those other two are still in reserve. If we go back to clip and show preview, those three clips are still there. And I can still switch between them. And notice they haven't lost their timing. They're all timed for the end of the clip. So how do I finalize the preview? Go up to the clip menu, go to audition, and say finalize audition. By the way, you can switch between the next and the previous pick with command, option, left, and right arrow. 
and instead of clicking on it in that preview window, finalize, and now poof, all those other clips are gone, and it's as though I edited the inward journey down to the timeline the very first time. Auditions are a wonderful way of previewing different audio selections and quickly switching from one to the other to decide which one fits your project the best. They're incredibly easy to create when you're starting at the beginning of the clip, and they're not bad when you did as I did by selecting from the end of the clip. This was an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar on working with audio in Apple Final Cut Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 308. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.